Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it, so welcome back to the channel. I'm Bush, and today we're going to be having a chat with Ocho again. This is part two of the series uh, with the PUBG Mobile Community Manager, Ocho. Wonderful bloke, a really good human, and someone who knows a lot about what's going on with the ban lists, hacking, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to learn, you want to get keyed in, listen away, remember to like, subscribe, uh, originally, and uh, yeah, stay safe uh, there out there. Was I don't know if you saw, I did a video and uh, one of the guys that I'm a patron of, Chris, he, uh, who's a Google man too, he's a good bloke, um, he actually did a whole thing where he took all the guys you put out and did a spreadsheet and broke it down into graphs. And at that point in time, the majority of the hackers that were being banned were from the Asia server. Is that changed or is, is that still the case? So we take a list of people we ban and we subset that list to what we're going to talk about publicly. Yeah. Right? So the numbers can get biased in this, right? Yeah. Because let's say that, you know, one-fifth of all people are, uh, you know, uh, on the Asia server who we banned on a given day, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we're going to tell you about one-fifth. It could look like 100% of the people uh, that we banned were on the Asia server. Yeah, which is not the case. Right. So it is not necessarily, uh, you know, statistically represented. That being said, uh, we spent uh, a ton of money, a ton of tech time, and we specifically addressed some of the ways that lag was covering up uh, what people were attempting to do. The way that cheaters hide their cheating uh, is oftentimes, although not exclusively, through uh, lack. You know, this even has like weird extremes where they will VPN to another continent to, to deliberately get more lag oh my God. so uh, they can hide their cheating better. What kind of gaming experience are you getting when you're doing that? Just... It's not the weirdest thing I've heard of ever, but it's, it's up there, let me tell you, right? Yeah. So uh, we spent a bunch of money and, in, and set up a bunch of infrastructure all over the world to detect this better. When we talk about, you know, where we caught somebody, where we caught somebody isn't where they live. One of the popular ways to do this was to VPN to a server in Africa and connect to a region somewhere else in the world. This was enormously popular. And what appears on the list is the server they're connected to, not yeah. where this person's living. Yeah. Um, so uh, there might have been a time where, because we installed this, uh, you know, hardware and these new procedures and new uh, policies, uh, we were able to catch a bunch of people on the Asian server that way. What about when you release a new update? There's two things that happen, right? Uh, all the cheats break. And then they have to do a bunch of testing to make sure that see what we're going to catch and what we're not going to catch, you know, or what they don't think we're catching. And, and they're trying stuff to see what they can get away with or what they think they can get away with. Where we're catching them fast and where we're catching them not as fast. I'm guessing you guys don't have a whole lot of sympathy or empathy for the guys doing this. You know, uh, we've, we've had people arrested. We've had people prosecuted and thrown in jail for doing this. You know, that's a good day. <laughs> If we can take one of these people down and send them to jail, if the local uh, municipalities' laws allow that, we will absolutely pursue that. Yeah. Right? We are serious about providing a good game experience for you all. What about the idea that you take all these players and put them, don't ban them, just find out where they are and put them in a queue without telling them, put them in a, in a, a hacking queue? Okay, so uh, we could. Like, that's totally doable right mm -hmm. um and what you'll see is everybody on the internet complaining that there's just a ton of cheaters and they have video to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing that's amazing <laughs> um they figure it out they, they i mean you know what i'm saying it's yeah. again these people aren't attached there right yeah. uh so in essence once they figure out uh, hey, <laughs> you know, everybody's doing the same scubby stuff. Uh, it's time for me to get a new account. Let me go fish a new one up. Yeah. 
Right. So it, 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 it's one of those things that, oh, my God, it, it, it sounds so hilarious. But in the end, it doesn't solve the problem. Uh, what about what about the um, – and this happened uh, quite a few times, well, at least anecdotally, the, uh, the idea that a lot of the people running the crew challenge and such were winning crew challenge events. And I'm sure you've heard this before. Um, and there's statues in that for some of these people up and around the joint, yet there's a lot of people who claim that they were actually cheating when it happened. Is this something that you guys know about or you've investigated or gone through? Oh, of course. Of course. So uh, there's two things going on here, right? Um, first off, you get your statue in game. Yeah. Right? That's awesome, right? Yeah. yeah you want a giant bush coat just lording it up over uh, where's, Spawn where's, Island? Where's my statue? <laughs> right? <laughs> where's my statue? Um, and secondly, uh, and more importantly, uh, from a, a scummy shooter perspective, you get a permanent time. Sorry, I missed that. that. That didn't that didn't come through. That was uh, just... you. You get a permanent title. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right, and you get to ruin it for everybody else. Yeah. Right. These, these are three things that, that cheaters love. They love ruining things for other people. Yes. <laughs> they love permanent titles, and they love uh, you know public recognition. Yeah. Right. Um. So uh, with the permanent title, that account is now worth more than. Because there are people out there who will buy an account that has a crew challenge title. Wow. So there's the, the crew challenge stuff is pretty interesting, yeah. I find. Okay, but so so there's a real incentive for people. There's the notoriety incentive, there's a financial incentive, and being a incentive. Yeah. Right? So of course it is something that people are going to try to cheat. We have extra layers of security in Crow Challenge, right? Uh, we add more all the time. This uh, this next time we run Crew Challenge, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff that I can't talk about, uh, specifically to try and uh, bust these people out like super, super quick style. Yeah. Right. This is a high priority because it's one of those things that's visible. That you know, people are like, oh, well, this person, uh, you know. Uh, who was accused of cheating in the crew challenge. And inevitably, uh, you know, the ones that are fairly correctly identified, like we get their accounts within days, you know, not just from reports, but just like, you know, the, the kind of people who, you know, they just ran too close to the sun. They, they, <laughs> the Icarus they kept PUBG trying mobile. to cheat. You know, it, it's one of those things where, it's it's the World Series, you know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah. the best of the best. It's, it's the best of our guys versus the, the best of theirs, and you know, uh, I'd love to say we have a, a perfect winning record, but the reality is, is we're never going to have a perfect winning record. No. Uh, in terms, you know, of, in terms uh, of stopping these guys, when just the standard regular player kicks up and uh, and thinks they've seen a hacker. Or, or see something that is legitimately like like nutty, like when I see people jumping on buildings in Pachinki. What kind of boxes should they tick in the reporting system? And what style of info is the best for you guys to receive? If you get us their name, we get an immense amount of information immediately accessible, right? So we just dump out a whole bunch of information on the server. It doesn't matter what box, right? Now, it's great if you can tell us. But the mere fact that you have reported it has given us just a huge dump, right? Now, most of the reports we get uh, are, well, he seemed to be way better than he should have. He <laughs> shot me from far away and I died. Yeah, 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 fair enough. That doesn't seem, right? that doesn't seem good. Uh, you know, um, well... There's no way he could have known I was there. That is the uh, the majority of reports that we receive. Yeah. And, you know, but there are, you know, a lot of actual people that, you know, we assist. And we use all the information we get to train our software better. Right? Yeah. So there's three different ways we catch people, basically. Right? The first is, hey, you know, uh, we notice you're running a software that alters your packet timing. 
Cool. The only reason to do that is cheating. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. Yeah. Right. The second way is we detect things that are impossible. You know, um, and you, you know we have varying degrees of impossible. But when you report a cheater, we can correctly identify them. We have a lot more information server that we can feed into our program so they it's like oh okay cool i know how to spot them right yeah so by reporting you're giving us that information to make the second layer of our uh cheating uh detection stronger right and then there's the third layer which is hey we got a ton of reports about this guy and our cheating software thinks that they're pretty suspicious uh Let's just have somebody watch them play. Yeah, yeah, that that one's uh, the interesting one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I know, I know, Bushko, you're a very private man. You can't stand to have you, people watch you uh, play PUBG Mobile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, but think of it, think of it this way: uh, if you get rep reported a ton, and you know you're doing some pretty fishy stuff in game, worst comes to worst, you have an extra viewer. Yeah. That, they're they're that, probably not going to like subscribe and follow them. That does bring something very interesting up. Um, that was was that something then that was intentionally removed in recent patches, where you used to be able to have people who were watching you pop, like next to a little eyeball, to tell you how many people were watching. So uh, it might have been intentional. It wasn't something that was specifically mentioned. But uh, when we watch you, it never pops up as an eyeball anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Well, it's just, it was always interesting because I find... Oh, I don't know what you're watching. You well, can not do anything suspicious right now. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah. we're willing to put in the time. Yeah, I, and, I like uh, it. I like it because I'm watching someone and I don't want them to know I'm watching them when I'm recording footage before I decide whether they're I'm going to report them or not. Um, and I've also had the instance where I've been watching someone who I'm dead set certain is cheating. And... They've just stopped playing completely. Is that them getting waxed mid-game? They're just standing still all of a sudden and they never move again? There could be, yeah. No, we have no problem just, you know, popping their account mid-game. Yeah. Let's, um, let's, I just want to knock off a couple of quick points. Um, do you see that there is a ratio of, you know, illicit behavior across different cues and game styles or devices? You know, that that's a, a really interesting question. One of the things I don't trust is when a cheating device uh, connects. Yeah. I don't trust it to be honest about what kind of device it is. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Yeah, so uh, one, one engineer I worked with uh, always, uh, you know, put it best. He said, just assume that they're not connecting with a computer that runs an operating system you've ever heard or the client that you've given them. Yeah. Right. And as long as you just don't trust anything that that computer tells you, uh, you're probably in good shape. And I think that's a very, very good way to finish it there. Um, all the stuff that we know about hackers from hackers, you should basically take with a huge grain of salt. Uh, the idea that it's infallible, that you can cheat and not get caught, all that kind of thing is bollocks uh and i would highly recommend that you go through these interviews if you are someone who's considering going out there and doing this kind of thing and realize that your account will be gone uh might not happen immediately but it certainly looks like it's going to happen i'm bushka look after yourselves and until next time stay safe on z battlefield and thank you actually big dog hope you're having a good time on malaysia with uh, the pmco tilt and uh yeah talk to you soon